Hi guys, this is Cherry Mui. I'm the regional fashion director at Tyler Asia. I just got back from Milan Fashion Week and there are so many interesting street style trends that we're going to talk about today, so let's check them out. Oh, we have Mayo here. And um, today I'm wearing everything in Moschino. And actually, uh, Moschino is a great show. It's one of my favorite shows because, you know, all the clothes are very dramatic. People are having so much fun. You know, I love, you know, when the atmosphere and the whole vibe, it's really, you know, happening. So I'm very excited for this season. It's very him. It's, I think the bold colors work for the personality as well as for the brand. I like the tie and the heel boots and how he walks confidently in them. I think menswear um, in general has broken the boundary of any design element you have to. Like men can wear heels and women can wear suits. So there's, it has gone to gender fluid. We can see like Kim Jones and Dior, um, Jada Anderson, and even more younger designers like Harry Swede. Um, they've been pushing this boundary more. I'm wearing my tomorrow out and uh, this coat I think is warm and uh, I like the, the length because um, it can make me feel better. And I like the belt because I can change my, you know, my body and make me look more slim. I like fashion and I think the girls, women should be always powerful. I think women in Matmara is very cool and powerful. Yeah. <laughs> She's really confident and empowered by this outfit. I, I like it. Ono Tone, great outerwear is what Max wears is about. And she had this um, overall, and I think that belt she wore is essential because, you know, the proportion, it gives her that um, structure to it's so very um, powerful. I'm wearing something by from Interman. Oh, so it's nothing special, nothing brand. Cute. We have models representative. What they're wearing is completely from their own wardrobe. It's nothing branded. Out of the two, I think the girl on the right, um, I prefer that outfit more because there's more accessories and you can see she put some more efforts into it and layering. As for the second look that I'm not a huge fan of, um, I like it's very off-duty. It's like casual with a tank top and the silky skirt. Uh, maybe the choice of the trainers I, I will change can be really cute with a ballet pump. I'm wearing vintage and also Tricker's shoes and Loeb bash. My approach on fashion is about sustainability. I am wearing like a shirt and short pants of uh, sweat shoes from Tricker's, uh, Loeb bag, and this is a chain from Louis Vuitton, uh, and a hat for Salino. It looks good. Um, I like monotone color palette and surprisingly it brings out a lot of interesting perspective. First of all, it's like how you make the purchasing choices and then how you use them. Another way is go really creative about it. It's like you can upcycle them, you can patchwork them, you can create something new from something old. There's a lot of ways to look at sustainable fashion. It's about vintage, it's about upcycling, recycle. It's also about how you use that product. Uh, it's all Ukrainian brands. It's uh, my bra uh, with pearl uh, trousers. It's my skin. <laughs> I think it's a little bit from Ukraine. Yeah. It's a very statement outfit. And a lot of Ukrainian fashion was in there. Actually, this central 90s aesthetic is coming back. And the pearl, you can say there's a lot of craft. I personally like the mini bag and the hoop earrings. I think that's minimal. That goes with the outfit. Uh, maybe the stilettos. What I can add is I would throw on a really oversized like satin blazer. You can still see the corso, but you add a bit more attitude. Trends, of course, they come and go. 
in the digital era, like female are kind of comfortable of showing their style, their their body, what they like. It can be good or bad, but I think the important thing is you know you're comfortable in it, but not just for the attention seeking purpose. This is a mascara dress. I'm wearing the new Prada glasses. And these are actually by far boots, they're so comfortable. I've worn them like every season and I love them. I want to keep it as minimalistic, but still me as possible. Cute. Ji Hoon is a very outspoken girl about how she made her style choices. You can see you can move around, it's more playful. Um, it has the boots and the sunglasses, so some trendy pieces, some more classic ones, so you have to mix them together. Feeling good is another comfort. As long as they're feeling confident, and works for them, I think that's great. All right, that is it for me today. I really enjoyed looking at these looks with you. And make sure you check out teleasia.com. And see you next time.